okay uh, good morning dear students uh, today uh, we are going to uh, take up uh, the last lecture that is lecture number 16 this is the last lecture okay so in this uh, lecture uh, we are going to discuss about uh, the role of uh, pollinators role of weed killers and the role of uh, scavengers so these uh, uh, insects are uh, beneficial or rather you can say these are useful insects so a part of uh, this lecture was already discussed in lecture number 1 but in this particular lecture we will be discussing in detail about the role of pollinators weed killers and uh, scavengers now here you can see the images okay so these are uh, this is a bumblebee which is a very good uh, 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 cross pollinator this is a honey bee and uh, this is also another cross pollinator uh, this is a fig wasp which we are going to discuss later and of course this is a very good scavenger belongs to a diptera uh, which feeds on the dead and decaying organic matters and this is a very famous uh, weed killer uh, Jigogramma bicolorata which is a weed killer of uh, uh, parthenium weed okay <clears throat> now coming to the uh, first uh, uh, topic is uh, insect pollinators so in this we will be discussing about uh, what are insect pollinators what are the uh, benefits or advantages of uh, insect pollinators and then we will also uh, give a list of uh, important insect pollinators okay so what are insect pollinators what are the benefits or uh, uses of uh, insect pollinators and then uh, we will also uh, list out various uh, uh, important uh, insect pollinators so coming to the insect pollinators what are insect pollinators so you know very well that uh, pollination uh, in most of the plants is uh, is uh, uh, done by the uh, self pollination or by the cross pollination now in majority uh, of the crops or in majority of the plants the pollination is a cross pollination so this cross pollination is because of uh, several uh, uh, several uh, uh, things will uh, involved in cross pollination like uh, uh, the wind pollination or uh, uh, you can say uh, insect pollination etc okay so this cross pollination is very very important for the survival of uh, the uh, plants and without cross pollination we cannot imagine the diversity of the uh, flora and fauna okay so this is very very important so cross pollination is usually taken care by mostly by the wind or by the insects now coming to the insect pollinators what are insect pollinators so these are the insects which will uh, visit the flowers uh, for their forage purpose to obtain the food material uh, the food material may be uh, the nectar or the pollen and during the process of uh, visiting uh, the flowers they automatically carry the pollen from flower to flower and plant to plant thereby they aid in uh, uh, cross pollination now there is a statistics that uh, uh, almost two third of flowering plants uh, depends on insects for pollination and uh, another uh, study uh, says that one third of world's agricultural production uh, depends upon insect pollination so so this statistics really uh, says uh, the real importance of uh, insect pollinators in cross pollination now coming to the benefits of insect pollination or uh, insect uh, cross pollination so because of uh, insect cross pollination you can expect a uniform crop okay and uh, also there will be an improvement in the quality of the uh, products for example uh, fruits and also uh, there will be higher yields also so these are the three major benefits we are going to get uh, through the insect uh, cross pollination so uniform crop improvement in the quality 
as well as improvement in the yield also. Now coming to the uh, examples of uh, insect uh, pollinators, so honey bees are there, solitary bees, bumble bees, okay, stingless bees, wasps. So all these uh, belongs to Hymenoptera, and there are non-Hymenoptera insects are also there, like the flies, thrips, and uh, butterflies and moths also. And uh, this is one example here I have given. So this is a weevil, uh, Elaidobius uh, camerunicus, which is a very good uh, cross pollinator uh, in palm oil uh, plantations. So this we are going to discuss later. So these are the some of the examples and uh, uh, important examples uh, which acts as uh, cross pollinators in various crops. Okay. And these bumblebees are very very special in that uh, though they are very solitary insects, though they are uh, uh, smaller in numbers, but uh, these are very uh, important uh, pollinators as far as uh, uh, the plants which are having uh, long and large flowers with long corolla and deep nectaries. So in such type of plants having uh, large flowers with long corolla and deep nectaries, the honey bees or the other bees uh, cannot enter into the uh, these uh, flowers. So here the cross pollination is done by the bubble bees like uh, in cotton and bendy. Now these honey bees can also be used uh, uh, commercially for cross pollination of some of the important crops. So wherein for 2 hectares we can uh, maintain 5 colonies. Okay. Now coming to the uh, cross pollination in different crops, the most important uh, uh, topic uh, which we are going to discuss is uh, pollination in case of uh, uh, fig plants. Okay, So fig plant is a, a fruit plant, so wherein the cross pollination is aided by an insect, so which is a, uh, which belongs to, uh, it, it is a wasp which belongs to the order Hymenoptera. Now, as far as fig uh, uh, tree is concerned, uh, uh, you know very well the fig is of two types. So, one is known as a spirna fig and another one is known as a capri fig. So, this capri fig is uh, uh, produces uh, non-edible fruits, whereas the spirna fig, uh, spirna fig uh, produces the edible uh, fruits. Now, uh, but uh, the problem with the spirna fig is that uh, the Smyrna fig uh, uh, consists of only uh, the female flowers and it uh, lacks male flowers. So in order to uh, produce the fruits, uh, it uh, depends upon the insects for cross pollination. So the pollen is, uh, 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 is transported by this wasp from the capri fig and uh, the female wasps, they carry the uh, pollen from the capri fig and uh, transports to the Smyrna fig and uh, it cross pollinates, thereby the Smyrna uh, fig produces the edible fruits. So this is, uh, 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 this is what is about uh, the pollination in case of a fig plant, that is the reason why, so whenever you want to grow uh, this Smyrna fig for uh, uh, commercial purpose, it should be planted along with the Capri fig also, this is only for uh, uh, improving the cross pollination. Now here you can see this is a female wasp, so it uh, carries the pollen on its body, then it enters into the uh, flower pot uh, through an opening, so it enters into the uh, flower, uh, flower uh, body, uh, it lays eggs uh, inside the flowers and, uh, and when uh, eggs are laid, so the flower uh, inside which receives the eggs will develop into a, a gall like structure. And other flowers which do not uh, uh, have uh, the eggs will be uh, uh, will uh, uh, <coughs> will be healthy and it will yield it will give the fruits. Okay. Now uh, from this uh, galls, uh, the male and female will emerge uh, from the pupa. And here the important uh, behavior of this wasp is that the males will not come outside, so they will be they will remain within the flowers and uh, it will search for the female 
it will mate with the female and uh, then it will die uh, within the flower and before dying it will make a small hole like structure through which the female will come out so while come out uh, while coming out from this uh, uh, flower pot so it uh, uh, carries the pollen uh, from the male flowers and then it will come out and then it will uh, uh, enter into another flower uh, maybe uh, in the smyrna fig and thereby it causes cross pollination this is how the cross pollination takes place in case of the fig so this uh, uh, topic is very very important for your, uh, your examination now here you can this is all that uh, uh, wasp of uh, uh, fig so this is uh, uh, blastophaga scenes the scientific name is blastophaga scenes and another uh, uh, um, important uh, uh, insect cross pollinator is another uh, weevil which belongs to the family curculionidae so this is uh, known as the elardobius camarunicus which is a very good uh, pollinator uh, uh, in oil palm trees because you know oil palm is a monoecious plant wherein the male and female uh, spikes are uh, separate so here the cross pollination is aided by uh, the presence of uh, this particular uh, weevil which is known as elardobius camarunicus so, so history is there how and from where uh, this beetle was imported and uh, so if you want uh, you can uh, search in the internet and so that you will get very good information about this particular beetle Okay. Yeah, this uh, terminology is very very important as far as cross pollination by the insects is concerned. Okay. Now, if uh, uh, the cross pollination is done by the bees, it is known as melitophily, and by hawk moths it is sphingophily. If it is by small moths, it is known as phalnophily. Flies is known as myophily. Butterflies psychophily. Beetles sycanthophily. Ants are myrmecophily. So these terminologies are very very important for your part A. Then coming to weed killers, of course, this was in depth discussed in uh, lecture uh, number one uh, uh, already. So, uh, weed killers are nothing but these are the insects which feeds on uh, the weeds and kill uh, those weeds. Okay. So, this is very important. Uh, the successful weed killer should have certain qualities. There are four uh, important qualities that are mentioned here. So, the weed killer should not become a pest of cultivated plant after its. Uh, introduction in the agricultural ecosystem now this is very very important because if uh, after introduction if it becomes a pest of agricultural crop then it is going to cause more economic loss rather than uh, uh, becoming a, a useful insect okay so it should not become a uh, pest of cultivated plants then uh, the weed killer should be very effective in damaging and controlling the weeds within short time then preferably the weed killer should be a borer or internal uh, feeder so that uh, uh, the control efficiency will be more when compared to the foliage feeders and of course it should be able to multiply in good numbers so that uh, it can be multiplied in the laboratory and it can be released into the agricultural ecosystem now this is one example here i have mentioned but uh, in the next slide you will see uh, the list of uh, important weed killers now this is the Jigogramma bicolorata, which is a uh, weed killer of Parthenium weed. Now this list is very very important. Okay, uh, the prickly pear uh, weed is controlled by pyralid moth. Uh, then same thing, it is controlled by a cochineal insect, Lantenna. Then you have uh, Congress grass or Parthenium then water fern and water hyacinth so uh, the weed and the weed killer and its scientific names are very very important for example water hyacinth okay now for example water hyacinth is there so wherein you can employ two types of weed killers one is a weevil neocatina brochi and another one is a mite orthoglama teribranchis and similarly, in case of uh, lantern camera, uh, we can employ three types of weed killers. One is a lace pack, another one is a